This is an MRI scanner which you will find at your local hospital. It can see inside your body from every direction and is an invaluable aid to diagnosis for a wide variety of problems. I'm here to have um, arthrogram stroke MRI scan on a shoulder injury. Well I went to my GP with my hands swelling. It stops me playing pool, snooker, fishing, well it stops me all my sport and also, it's keeping me awake halfway through the night. I'm constantly on painkillers. My name's Rosemary. Uh, this is my mother, Phyllis Cashman. Um, we've come in today because she's had a stroke in the last couple of days. And so we come to see what, uh, well, to try and see, do something about it. Um, I'm having a, an MRI on my shoulder, on my left shoulder, because um, it keeps dislocating. So, um... I went to my GP and I was suffering from severe headaches. I had an uncle that died of a brain tumour and that is exactly what was going through my mind. Um, I'd hurt my neck and had a swelling on the back of my neck and my GP ordered an MRI scan for me to go and have done. Well, MRI is, is very good for any soft tissue imaging. So it's a very useful scientific tool. There are other forms of imaging, but they won't show disease in such a useful way. Because of these concerns, we've made this film to help you understand what having an MRI scan is all about. We'll show you what happens and introduce you to some of our patients who will tell you about their experiences. My name is Naomi Ward. I'm a senior radiographer and I've been working with MRI patients for six years. Every day we see dozens of patients and the most important part of our job is helping them through the process. There are many reasons. It might be uh, work related. It could be that perhaps somebody has been a coal miner. It could be um, psychological that something's happened, traumatic has happened to them in the past. Or it just may be that they are claustrophobic. All different reasons, but all important. There's a whole package of things that we can do to, to help people through their scan. In the MRI department, we have um, a range of pieces of equipment. These are just some of them. Um, we have ear protection because MRI is extremely noisy and we're able to play music through um, which makes people quite a lot less anxious so we use that. Well, also we use it as a way of communication with the patient. Long. In between scans we'll talk to people. So this is a head coil um, that goes over the top of your head but it doesn't touch you in any way and it just rests over the top it has, a head, it has a little mirror here that you're able to look up and see out into the room. Then we have a neck coil that fits over, you like that. And this is when we're imaging the C-spine, so we'll use that then. Or if you're having imaging of your carotid arteries, we'll use it then. Then lastly, we have a body coil, and this fits over the top of you. Normally, either here, or if we're scanning your pelvis a little bit further down, and that lays over the top of you, and it clips in to our table, but there's Velcros either side, so you're not pinned in in any way. I remember one day, I, I, woke, I woke up in the morning, 
and I must have been sleeping with my arms on the shoulder. This is Lee Brown, who dislocated his shoulder, which now keeps popping out at inconvenient moments. And he's keen to find out exactly what's wrong and how it can be fixed. I shall ask him some questions to make sure he is safe to use the scanner, and then I'll explain to him what will be happening, how he can talk to me and how he can stop the procedure if he becomes worried by anything. And can you confirm which shoulder we're going to get? Yeah, your left shoulder. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to go through the safety questionnaire with you. So, any operations to your heart or to your chest? To no. your head or to your brain? No. Any operations to your ears? No. Okay. All right then. Have you got any questions um, for me? There was a couple. Is there any risk of, like, I don't know, cancer? Or, or... No, we don't use radiation at all in MRI. At all, no. Right. It's all to do with um, radio frequency and waves. So it's quite so, sort of yeah. safe. Yeah, and... we use no radiation at all. Um, yeah, that's the only sort of thing I was worried about. Yes. And, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. The, the length of your scan will be about uh, about half an hour in total, which right. is sort okay. of like an average time for, okay. for your scan. Just to rest, put your mind at rest, mm. there's a camera at the end of the tube, so I can see you at all times. Um, also, there's a little microphone in there too, so I, when I talk to you in between scans, you can yeah. talk back to me and tell me how you are. Oh, that's right, good, yeah, okay. That's and you have your buzzer yeah. too, yeah. as well. So we're in communication. Oh, there's of, yeah, there's yes. a lot of reassuring, you know, things. Yes. And, yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well done. You're doing very well. First scan coming up. And then the whole spine pain. All ends of it, so we've got the liver on the table. Mm. It wasn't half as bad as I thought it might be, you know. You know, now it's done. And it's yeah, it's worth it. Definitely worth it, you know. We asked other patients what they thought about their experience. Oh, uh, good. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's fine. It helped having music. The last time I had one, there wasn't any music. Because really, the most, the, the worst thing about that is the noise. Sounds like somebody's digging the tarmac in a road. Yeah. But having the uh, earphones with music does really take that away. Definitely, I'm really pleased I got the diagnosis um, and there was actually nothing wrong in my instance, but to be told that there is nothing wrong just settles your mind and puts you at ease. From a staff member's perspective, if I've got a really nervous patient who is having an MRI scan, then I usually go through my experiences with them and try and reassure them because it's, it is a scary thing, it is a small area, but the staff are all there and if they'd explained to you what was going to happen, you'd be aware of everything that was going to happen and that you could actually be released if you was really, really frightened. If a patient doesn't go through with their scan, um, it can make the diagnosis take much longer because then they're going to have to be uh, re-referred for another type of imaging and it can be a few days, delay, possibly a week. So that makes a big difference to people. We've produced this film to help you understand what having an MRI scan means. We've also asked our GP partners to talk to people they refer to us to find out if they are claustrophobic or have any other worries or uncertainties about their scan. We can make special arrangements for you to see the machine before you come for your scan and talk to a radiographer. If you would like to make these arrangements, please call the number on your appointment letter. Good.